Hello everybody, we are live on <laughs> we're live on Facebook now. We're live on Facebook, live on Twitter and live on YouTube. So thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, my name is Kenny and this is Matthew Blaney. How are you doing? How is everybody? <laughs> uh, you're all very, very welcome to the fourth Little Cinema and Gola City of Film 48 Hour Challenge. And so the 48 Hour Challenge is where teams, uh, usually in Galway, over the course of one weekend in 48 hours, uh, write, film and edit uh, a film. But this year with um, lockdown and stuff, we changed the rules a bit so teams could take part all over Ireland. So we had teams take part in uh, Cork, in Mayo, in uh, Galway, obviously, Sligo, all over the place. And it's been fa fantastic. We have eight films and they're all made by uh, filmmakers from uh, all types of backgrounds and all over the country and it's fantastic. Uh, so, um, I want to say first of all, welcome everyone who's watching. If you are watching, please get involved in the comments. We got our comments correspondent, Matthew Blaney, <laughs> who will be reading out comments throughout the night. So if, you wanna, if you're enjoying the films or if you want to give any feedback or just throw out some funny lines, throw them in, we'd love to hear them. Um, and uh, I want to say, first of all, before we go any further, a huge, huge thank you to uh, the lads at Unbound Media who are putting this on. So we got uh, in the other room, we got uh, Ray Grady, uh, Adrian Conway, Dave O'Malley, Fintan Garrity. Uh, they've done amazing work, uh, weeks go, in, go into uh, preparation for an event like this, so they put in loads of work. Matthew Bladen as well, um, loads of hours put in by everyone, and so thank you to them very much. And then also, uh, you can see on screen here behind me, the Gaul Film Centre. Um, they're the main sponsor of this event, and um, through the support we were able to put this on. So a huge thank you to everyone at the Gaul Film Centre. We've got uh, Alan Duggan, Owen Butler Thornton, uh, Jade Murphy and Sarah Dillon. So thank you very, very much to them for the support and making this happen because it wouldn't, wouldn't be happening without them. Uh, and then uh, also uh, the filmmakers. It is next to impossible to make a film to write, uh, shoot and edit a film in 48 hours uh, in the, at the best of times. But mm. they've done it uh, in December when there's no light. It's very dark outside. They've done it under COVID restrictions and they've done it when it's cold and windy and rainy. So I think what the filmmakers have done this year is incredible. And uh, so thank you so, so much to the filmmakers who have stuck with us. This is meant to be in June, then it was put back to October and then it was put back from October to maybe next year to maybe December. So thank you very much to the filmmakers for sticking with us and for uh, making this possible. This obviously wouldn't be happening if we didn't the filmmakers doing it. So uh, thank you very much for sticking with us. Um, and also I want to say thank you to the judges. We've got a great panel of judges who have uh, viewed the films today and uh, they're making completely independent decisions about who will win all the prizes. Um, so we have a panel of four judges we on, see it on screen there. We have uh, Eve Collins, who is the uh, short prog programmer from the uh, Gaul Film Flair and the Korea International Film Festival, loads of festivals across the world. Um, we got Roshi Nihurisk, who is the, um, the content uh, uh, editor of the uh, blog TG Gahar. Um, it's uh, the, the online branch of TG Gahar, which is uh, brilliant. Uh, we have Ushi McCullough, who is a director. He's uh, directing on uh, Fair City and also on Ross Naroon. 
which was great to get him. And uh, also we have Gareth Bryan, who uh, used to be of this parish, uh, who used to be the uh, the programmer of the Golden Films Lab, but now is working up at the uh, IFTA, IFTA, which is fantastic. So we have great judges. They, they were in complete, complete control of all the, the prizes, and we have lots of prizes to give out, um, but I'll go through them later on. So I think that the most important thing now is to uh, get on with the show. We will, we will, we're going to screen each of the films, which are going to be introduced by their, uh, the team captains. And then at the end of the screening of the eight films, we will take a break for 10 minutes, get everything lined up for the awards, and we'll go straight into the awards section then and give out all the awards. Mm. So um, take a breath and mm -hmm. uh, we'll get off, to, we'll kick off the show. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so, and we'll be going back to uh, Matthew after every couple of films just to get a few comments and stuff. Um, so do keep the comments coming in if you're watching on uh, whatever platform you are on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. So, uh, the order of the films being screened is in reverse order of films being handed in, if that makes sense. So the first film handed in will be screened last and the last film handed in will be screened first. And so in keeping with the, the name of the, uh, of the team, our first team up is called uh, Last Minute Kings. Um, they were well in, in time for getting the film intros, but they just happened to be the last film handed in. Um, and so the team captain for Last Minute Kings is Lakshika Sirasin. So Lakshika, are you there? Hi Kenny, how's it going? I'm very good, how are you? How, how, is the, uh, how are the energy levels? Uh, I woke up about an hour and a half ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> how was the filming? Was it tough? It, it, it was tough. I think, uh, yeah, it was, it was. It was a lot to get done in daylight hours. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, like it, it's, it's so the, the time the the day goes so quick when it's like this dark outside. It's like dark at four o'clock. Yeah, but uh, but I'm I'm glad it didn't rain on Friday because we were ready for that. And it was like, oh, where's the rain? You know, and. <laughs> Uh, so the weather was actually great for what it could be in December. So I'm Good. pretty happy with that. Yeah, at least it wasn't lashing, which is probably uh, the best. The, the last thing you want for filmmaking is uh, lashing rain. Um, so tell us about uh, your team and what your team did. Um, so we made a Christmas comedy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know what I want to say it, uh, exactly. What? But, uh, you know, we came up with it with the line and everything. Um, yeah, it's it's a Christmas. It's not a serious movie. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, sorry, I'm just useless <laughs> for words right now. <laughs> and but, um, the, I better go through the, 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 the categories. There was a genre assigned. So the genre was either going to be a horror comedy or a Christmas film. So you went through that kind of a Christmas uh, slash uh, was it Christmas horror, did you say? Christmas comedy. Christmas uh, comedy. And then uh, <laughs> the prop you had to use was something you, you would get fit with. So what prop did you use? Well, we used a bicycle. Bicycle. Yeah. And then the line, what was the line you had to use? Uh, I think, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it the... was, this, uh, I didn't think it would have worked, but it did. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's line. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think it would work, but it did. So go on, or something like that. I'll, I'll clarify yeah. the line for 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 the next <laughs> ne next film. Uh, so um, you, did you find it difficult incorporating the? Because last year you were given a prop. This year you had to find your own prop. Did you find that difficult, or was it okay? Uh, no, I think everyone everyone thought like a bicycle would be fun. You get to move around from place mm. to place. Uh, but then there was the log logistics of cycling to places. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we used a bike, and I think there's another strange exercise machine thing in there too but um yeah it's um uh, it's it's a it's a fun one at least i think it is but cool <laughs> so tell us what the name of the film is and we'll kick off the show uh gosh um it, it's called a random act of kindness i had to think there for a second <laughs> random act of kindness don't, you'll be able to sleep yeah. soon don't worry about it um, <laughs> so that's uh, Random Act of Kindness, uh, Lakshika Sarasin from Last Minute Kings. Thank you very much for joining us, for introducing, and uh, stick around for the awards later on. Okay. Great. Enjoy, right. everyone. Thanks, Lakshika. Good luck, guys. Okay.
Uber. Yeah, is there something wrong? Yeah, actually. My bike got stolen. You couldn't do something about that, could you? Please? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Now go. Young man, you stole my friend's bike. I would like it back. <laughs> I stole your bike. <laughs> Do you know what, man? I don't care. <laughs> nah. I don't really care. But do me a favor. Fuck off. See that guy? Bastard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, yeah. Is that a new bag? It is, bro. Well, second hand, like, you know? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Did yeah. Did you pay much for it? You <laughs> mad? <laughs> oh, you're oh, mad, yo. Come here, listen. I do have a few things I need to do. I'll catch mm. you later. Catch you later. My man. See you later, bro. I promise this is the last time, but well, not like the last time or the last time before that. Mm. Look with the bike. I'm taking care of it now. Done it, but if it works, it works. Excellent, what a way to start the show, fantastic. Uh, that was uh, Lakshika Saracen with uh, Last Minute Kings there with, with, that, uh, with that show, uh, with that film. Uh, Random Acts of Kindness, uh, very good. You can't beat a bit of violence to kick <laughs> up the show. Absolutely, Bit yeah. of a violent Santa, can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Um, and practical 
blood splatter? Yeah, I, th I think that a lot of the effects in that were actual real effects as well, which is uh, impressive. Yeah. Um, so, um, do you want to go through the comments? Yeah, sure. The, there's quite a few comments coming in now, and um, and uh, there's 83 of us on, on Facebook here. Um, yeah, so uh, Sarah Barbosa, uh, wonder what that workout is called. Uh, mm -hmm. Joseph Palmer, Michael Patrick Breen, excellent. Jamie Hooper, um, wow. Bridget, this is so awesome. Uh, Connor Hooper, holy hell. Rena, all these shots are class. Mm -hmm. And then there's lo loads more coming in, obviously, now that the film has ended. Um, Sarah Barbosa, I don't want to have my name on the naughty list if this could happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Patrick Kelly, lots of claret, yes. Jamie Hooper, Laxika Saracen. Uh, Paula Mahoney, uh, Tim Allen could never. Barry Fahey, well, that was unexplained. Ha. Mm. Uh, great job. Unexpected, sorry, excuse me. Mm. Unexpected, <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses, sorry. Yeah. Unexpected. Um, Philip Bond, my expectations were just blown out of the water. Incredible for such a short time. Loved it. This was so good. And the comments are pouring in and pouring Excellent. in. And I just want to say we got a, a comments coming in on uh, uh, YouTube also. Uh, lots of um, clap emojis from uh, uh, Marcelo Monroy. Uh, and we have Daisy Peters saying wonderful. Lots of emojis. Um, uh, Amber Shonef, Woot. Uh, yeah. Dara Tay, I can't wait to see Nile Rooney's. I'm his biggest fan. Nile Rooney got a big fan. I think Nile is up next, isn't he? Yes, he is. And uh, we got uh, Sleepwalker from Paula Ellis and uh, Amber again saying legend. Uh, and she says, so funny, congratulations to the Last Minute Kings. Now for some sleep. Um, <laughs> so, uh, excellent. Uh, well done to uh, Le Lexic and his team. Next up, we're going to go to the next filmmaker, and that is from the team of um, uh, What Are You At Films, and it's uh, going to be represented by Niall Rooney. Niall, are you there? Yes, hi Kenny. And just to let you know, the team name is Wadiad. It's like a Sligo accent. It's what quite a Sligo term. Was oh, that a Sligo? <laughs> okay, yeah. Wadiad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the live stream. Uh, how did you find the uh, the forty eight hours? Uh, yeah, I actually really underestimated it. It was a lot tougher than I thought. <laughs> when you were like, "Oh, you're not going to get much sleep," I was like, "I'm going to get loads of sleep." But, yeah, <laughs> they don't know how good I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was really enjoyable. Really good crack. Good, good. And how did you find the? Uh, uh, let me clarify that the line for everyone that they have to use, use was, well, that's not how I would have done it, but if it works, it works. That's what the line you have to use. How did you yeah. find uh, the line and um, uh, using the prop? And tell us what, what prop you used. Uh, so I actually used like a, a dumbbell, like a weight, and it actually, it was a bit of a stretch. I had to jangle around the script a little to fit it in, but I think it actually ended up being like a pretty good asset to the movie. Like it was actually quite, it ended up being quite a funny addition. Oh, cool, um, good. Line, the line was okay too. Definitely like, again, had to, chop and change a little but it did actually end up fitting in quite well at the end as well so it, yeah it wasn't too bad like good. the props were, were good crack they were kind of a, a, an extra dimension to the challenge like yeah with the fact that you could choose your own type of prop it probably when you're given an exact prop it means that you have to go in that direction whereas when you have more choice almost the more choice makes it more difficult to to, to, to break down to choose what you want to do yeah, actually even after like i chose the prop i was like Wait a minute! Like I had already filmed everything. I was like, is the dumbbell fitness equipment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, it, it is. I had to get like a second opinion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's only two or three of you in the team, was that it? Yeah. So I have. Well, I actually have three. Like, so I had two, two official, one officially, and then I had a bit of friend, a bit of help from a very good friend of mine, Darita, who actually sent me a nice comment there, uh, who gave me a lot of help with the editing and the post production stuff and just general advice to keep me going. Excellent. And so, tell us the name of your film there. Uh, so the name of my film is Own Worst Enemy, and uh, I hope that's like an app title because I did actually only come up with it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what uh, genre did you go for? Uh, so mine's uh, definitely comedy mixed with a little bit of, there's a few Christmas things sprinkled in, and there's a tiny element of horror as well. Excellent. Great Hopefully job. Not that. Now, thank you very much for joining us on the live stream and stick around for the rest of it, and uh, well done on the film. Cheers, Kenny. Thanks. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.
there's no easy way to say this, but you're fired. You've been doing a great job, but you're making the rest of us look bad. I'm just going to put it down as insubordination. Uh, look, I gotta go. I have another call. Bye. 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 Uh, Bye. Steve, can we just... Oh, that was brutal. And you didn't even try to defend yourself. Loser. Oh, can you just leave me alone for one day? No, unfortunately not, Danny boy, because I am you. And until you start taking action, I ain't going nowhere. I can't believe this. Look, at least you still got your girlfriend. Oh no, wait, she jumped you... Was it last week? Oh. I'm not just gonna sit here. I'm gonna go do something with my life. I mean, maybe this is gonna be a good thing. You know, I can get fit. Write that novel I was always meaning to write. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I know I left those weights around here somewhere. Ah, here they are. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Alright, eye of the tiger, baby. Eye of the tiger. Okay. Not bad. Maybe we could just, just take one or two off that. Okay. Hey, buddy. How's that working out going for you? Whew, that's probably enough for today. 10 minute workout. Don't want to overdo it. Ah, uh, yes, don't want to overdo it. The words all true athletes live by. No harm in getting fit. I think you meant to say there's no harm in getting fat. Might as well embrace that winter bod now. Hmm. I actually wouldn't mind a few Doritos. Sure, I did just get sacked. <laughs> What am I doing? Time to start the rest of my life. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. No need to reinvent the wheel here. The wheel has already been made. It works just fine. Might as well be unoriginal and just copy it exactly. Oh, this is harder than I thought. Hey champ, how's that riding going? It's going well. It's going well. Right, and how much have you done? You've been here a while. Can I read it? What? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I just I just need to finish this, uh, this segment. Yeah. Right. So when are you just going to give up? Remember that time you tried painting, but you realized that you had the artistic ability of an infant? Or what about that time you watched too much Gordon Ramsay Kitchen Nightmares and you ended up starting a fire? It was unanimously agreed that we forgot to turn the Christmas lights off. You burned Ian's house down. Just leave me alone and let me write. Okay? Hey. Let's see what you've written. Dear publisher, please read my book and publish it. I've worked super hard on it and I think it's really good. Even my mom thinks so. Look forward to hearing from you, Daniel. Well, it's not how I would have done it, but if it works, it works. I'm also literally you though, and that's shock. You'll see, I've got a good feeling about this. I've poured every ounce of my talent into this book. Amazing. It'll be a book full of blank pages. Dear Dan, you really enjoyed your book. We won't be able to publish it, but we've entered it into our children's writing contest. Thank you, Miriam. Uh... Well, what did she say? It's been entered into a contest for amateur writers. I could win a contest! Possibly. <laughs> really? For children. Not bad, Danny boy. Not bad at all. Ah, thanks. I guess you were wrong about me after all.
Welcome back. That was Niall Rooney's film there with uh, What Are Films from <laughs> Sligo. Uh, and that was called uh, Own Worst Enemy. So great job there, Niall. Well done to him and his, his team. Uh, we're going to go to the next film. Uh, and uh, this is going to be uh, represented by, well, it's from Cork. And uh, the team is called the, uh, the People's Republic of Cinema. And they're old school little cinema people from like uh, back in the days of Kelly's and Galway. And they're actually... Um, took part in last year's competition, they did very well, they, they won a couple of awards last year and so please uh, welcome to introduce the film, I think it might be uh, Jamie Hooper and Connor Hooper, are you there Hoopers? Look at this. Uh, <laughs> alien frequencies are open, uh, <laughs> Captain. On screen. Okay, put them on screen. Hello Kenny. <laughs> I love this, I'm a huge Star Trek fan, this is incredible, this is like dreams coming true. How are you? <laughs> Receiving the, uh, the communication from all the way from Galway, which is it's quite a distance. Um, it's more than we're allowed to travel under the current circumstances. Um, but how's your little uh, cinema 48 hours going, Kenny? The little cinema is going great. Um, I am <laughs> delighted to have you on board. Um, what's, your, uh, what's your plan of action at the moment? I, I've lost all my Star Trek uh, <laughs> terminology. I'm just in shock. <laughs> the lingo just is we're, we're phasing in and out yeah. of reality as well. <laughs> You confuse things. How did you find so the we had a good hours? time. We had a, a very um, nice small team. Our, uh, I can confirm that the entire shoot was socially distanced. Um, no member of the team was ever in the same room as another person, except for me and the captain. And um, and yeah, that's that, that. That's all I can say. The other thing I would add is that um, our costumes here on this video are, um, if, if they're not a clue about uh, what our film is actually about, they're just two thirty-year-old men sadly playing dress up in uh, in their bedroom <laughs> so are you actually in the same room together now or are you uh, separate oh, yeah yes. keep the mystery oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh what genre did you go for we went for an existential horror that set at christmas and um i suppose i'd love to actually thank everybody who's involved so stephen rogers patrick o'connor um uh, claire o'malley emmett byrne hannah o'reilly um, and Neil Rourke, uh, especially, I think it's everyone. And Robin Guiton. And Robin Guiton for all of their, and everybody who's sending their eyes to us when we made a public call on Facebook. Um, excellent. And uh, the prop you used, what prop did you go for? We went for an ab trainer, one of those waist training, electrifying, uh, muscle spasming devices, yes. which I purchased early in lockdown <laughs> and didn't improve my waistline. Uh, <laughs> Wow, who could have predicted that that was a bad uh, Anyway. Uh, well, uh, great job of the film. Thank you so much for taking part and for sticking with the, the, the challenge. Uh, I know that the dates kept changing and stuff, so we appreciate you doing it. And uh, th what's the name of your film, by the way? Uh, the House of a Thousand Eyes. And I just want to say a big thank you to Kenny Gaughan and everybody at Little Cinema and all the team for pushing really hard to, get to make us make films. It's what they do, they make us uh, make these films in a couple of days that we could have done all year round, but they give us the opportunity and uh, they, they give us the verb to go and do it. So thank you so much to Kenny and the team for having given us the opportunity to make this film, whatever it is. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And a great job, and we'll talk to you later on. Stay on the line, okay? Talk speed. Thank you. <laughs> before my alarms. Well, maybe I never went to sleep. I don't know. Clock on the wall says 6.14. But I don't know whether that's p.m. or a.m. Or if I ever changed the batteries in it. Did they abolish daylight savings? Possibly. Either way, six o'clock's a good time for me to get my exercise exam. Program complete. You're a hero. The phased vaccination program in the Republic of Ireland will see patients aged 80 and above who are already attending hospital as an outpatient or those who are being discharged home after a hospital stay among the first to receive the job. That's not how I do it. <sighs> But if it works, it works. Got a refuel. 
Stock slow. This. This is a necessary journey. Just get to the coca noodles. I'm not being followed. That only happens to important people or in films. I'm dying. I'm dying. Excuse me, sir. I think you. Program complete. You're a hero. I'm fine. I'm not dying. I know. I know. I just left my ab trainer on. That's all it. <laughs> All it is. Sorry, I mean, you don't have your mask on? Don't have a mask on. Could you leave, please? I'm going back. I'm going all the way back home to get my mask. Because that's what heroes do. <laughs> back. Um, excellent. Uh, that was um, the People's Republic of Cinema with the film uh, House of Thousand Eyes. Excellent job, guys. That was really well done. Uh, great job in it. Um, 40 hours for that. Fantastic. Um, so do you want to go through some comments? Yeah. The comments from the last two films there? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, going back to um, Niall Rooney and the team's film, um, I'm just going to read a few out here first from the paper. Uh, Jamie says... Uh, what a head of hair. Um, <laughs> Carmen, uh, love him, OJ. Dara O'Rourke, yes. Barry, great stuff. Camilla, great performance. Well done, Niall. Uh, Dara, great job. Patrick says up Sligo. And uh, then on to uh, the last film there by the Hoopers Brothers, um, which is fantastic. Uh, Alan, uh, well, there's a lot of love, obviously, for the Star Trek uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> intro. Um, great dress up. Uh, JVP, very engaging. Paul, Beam me up, Thotty. Very engaging, very nice. Yeah, Star yeah. Trek reference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul, beam me up, Thotty. Um, Olifia, I am roaring laughing. Um, Rina says, love, loving the art style, so unique. Patrick, brilliant, unique film. Barry Fahey, some serious animation going on, and there's loads more coming in here, so I might read out a few here mm -hmm. as well. Um, so, uh, Sabrina, brilliant. Uh, George Lee, uh, speechless. Um, good job. Uh, good jobs everyone so far from Patrick O'Connor considerably cheerier than really to be honest as Christopher uh, Irene Barbosa well done hashtag up cork JVP brilliant um, 
Clara Hearn, our class. Uh, Satie, a great choice of music. Yeah, I love Eric Satie. Uh, Philip Bond, getting getting D from Limmy's show. Vibes from this. Oh, and yeah. loads more porn. Yeah, yeah. So, very good. Right. Yeah, excellent. So that was the third film of the night by the People's Republic of, Public of Cinema. Thank you for joining us from Cork, lads. Um, next up, we have a Galway man to be introduced in this film. And this is from uh, a team who have taken part maybe three of the four years so far, uh, Celtic Badger Media. And the captain is Barry Fahey. Barry, are you with us? I am indeed, Kenny. How are you? I'm very good. Oh, look at this lighting. You look great. Uh, yes. Uh, well, with the amount of Zoom calls and whatever that's going on these days, I, I said I'd actually mount some lights so they're stuck to bookshelves that are either side of me here. <laughs> Looking pro looks like we're doing a podcast there. looks great. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, so tell us, how did you find the uh, 48 hour experience? Uh, yeah, good. We, we actually, uh, it was just myself and Paul Fitzgerald, so there was only two of us on the team. So we had, uh, we had a slow start to the morning. We, with, uh, we, filmed it in my um my home house and we have a shed with some cars and stuff in it you might have seen the instagram stuff where we, yeah. we had issues starting the car to get it out of the way but we uh we got that all sorted and we started pretty late but then because it was just the two of us we kind of flew through it pretty quickly and once we got going what uh, genre did you go for uh we ended up going for a horror horror very good and yeah. uh prop wise what did you go for prop wise uh we ended up using a treadmill so it was it was there and available and it made sense for the story excellent yeah and uh did you get much sleep over the 48 hours uh yeah we actually we got a decent decent amount of sleep like surprisingly i think this is yeah you, you were right i think we did three out of the four little cinema 48 hours and i think this one we got the most sleep uh out of all of them so wow that's, that's <laughs> impressive so it pays to have a small team <laughs> yeah that's it i think creative decisions were made easier when it was just me paul and you know v helped out and then uh, when i was out at the home house my sister and mom helped out as well so did the cats help out no no they were useless <laughs> um they, they were true cats they just did what they wanted <laughs> of course yeah proper cat <laughs> yeah uh, so tell us what is the name of your film uh so our film is called motionless motionless brilliant so this is motionless by um celtic badger media and uh, Barry Fahey, the captain, thank you for joining us and stick around for the zoo later on. Thanks, Kenny. I'll be here. Thank you very much. The treadmill is in the big shed. You'll find the key under the pineapple. Under the pineapple. There's a treadmill. No one who doesn't work. It's not electricity. Force here. We're just gonna apply a little bit of pressure on that, and uh, that is how you fix a treadmill, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe. Well, that's not how I would have done it, but if it works, it works. Yes. 
Okay, I'm light now. Ha ha, joke's over. I can't fix your treadmill in the dark. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, haha, ha, real funny. Open the door. I can hear you breathing. Hello? Yeah, I'm not gonna fix your treadmill if you keep. door who is this my father what are, what are, you, what are you talking about something I did Paddy Paddy is this you I can't keep doing this Paddy I can't keep having the same conversation over over again. You think I don't know that? You're sick. It was an accident. Okay, that's what it was. It's nobody's fault. I know. I know that. I know she was your daughter, Paddy. But she was my wife. My whole world changed that night. If I could go back and take her place, I would, but I can't. I can't. I didn't see him, okay? I didn't see him. That drunk driver hit us. It's not my fault that I lived. Excellent. That was Barry Fahider with uh, Celtic Badger Media with, uh, with their film Motionless. Uh, well done, guys. Fantastic job. There, 48 hours. Good to have a small team as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, as uh, Barry said in the launch, I had nabbed you from his team. Oh, yeah. Matthew yeah. would have been part of the team <laughs> if he wasn't here. So, yeah. sorry, Barry. Okay, um, Barry. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we're going to go on to the, the next film, and uh, the next film is the uh, same surname, but uh, different, uh, no connection. Um, Sarah Fahey, and she is representing the team Farm Studios, and uh, she's going to join us now. So Sarah, are you there? I certainly am. Hello, Kenny. Hello, how are you? Are you reading us loud and clear? Um, I can, the volume's a little bit low, so I might get the boys to turn it up a small bit. Um, okay. and we'll come up a little bit closer to you. Let's see. Maybe. We... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, tell us, how did you get on with the Forty Eight Hours? How did you find it? We had so much fun. It was great crack. Great we crack. We really yeah. threw ourselves in at the deep end because we are more theatre people, except for my nephew, who's the editor. He knew what he was doing. The rest of us were chancing it. But we had super fun. Really good fun. As you can see here beside me, my daughter Maura. We roped her in. She's eight, and it's her dad Barry. So it was a family affair. Yeah. And we joined um, joined up with another family who were out here in Lockray as well, the Andersons. So it was Fahis, Healy's, and Andersons uh, unite. So it was great crack. Excellent. And um, was this your first kind of big project like this, or have you done any projects like this before? I was involved in the Burr Film Festival when they did their fifty-seven hour challenge, but I wasn't anything to do with the technical side of things. I just turned up, I wrote a script, and I acted in it. So. All the other stuff um, is just beyond me, uh, all the technical stuff. But um, so that's been, been my only experience. Oh, also um, in, during lockdown, the three of us as well um, and Fergal Anderson got together and we made a little short in our car. And that was up with the um, Galway Theatre Room uh, live online. And we really loved that. I think that spurred us on to give this a go. Excellent. So can you tell us um, what uh, genre you went for and what prop you used? Oh, we just decided to go for all of them. 
So we have a Christmas comic horror. So okay, you got a bit brilliant. of everything in there. And what is and, the name of your uh, film? Prop, oh, oh, sorry, prop, prop, sorry. prop wise, we used a bicycle. Bicycle. And um, the name of our film is Not in the Forest. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking part and for getting the team together and uh, for making the film. And great job. Uh, your, your acting was brilliant. Uh, by It was um, uh, Maura, is it? Maura, yes. Yeah, great job, Maura. Um, thank you very much for making the film and uh, stick around for, the, for the, uh, the awards after for the Zoom. We certainly will. And thank great. you, everyone in Kilmeen in Lockray. Great. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, Katie, I know we've been through this before, but just tell me, where was the last place you've seen him? He was even sitting at the window. But t tell me, what was he doing exactly? He wasn't doing anything. He had his little face pressed against the glass. Carla! No, non nella foresta. You're gonna need it. It's getting dark soon, and if we don't... Don't say it. We have to find him. I'm not leaving here without him. Ah, it's just he never listens every time. Katie, we've got to contact somebody. It's getting late. Stupid phone! Christ! There's nothing to be scared of, love. What was that? It was... nothing. He's afraid of the dark, you know. I always leave a light on for him. You're a good girl, Katie. He's all I have. You have me and... He's like a brother. I can't imagine Christmas without him. 
We've lost him. He's never coming back, is he? Dad, look! That's not how I would have done it, but if it works, it works. Excellent. Well done there to Sarah Fahey and the team of uh, Farm Studios. Great job in the film. Uh, thank you very much for taking part and uh, yeah, it's cool. It's good to get into the Christmas spirit and have a little bit like that, Elf on the Shelf. Yeah. Um, so well done to everyone involved in that. Um, we've got a few comments to go through from our comments correspondents. So let me just switch over to our comments correspondent over here. Thank you, Kenny. Um, so first uh, comment, um, well, it is from Olifia and he says, uh, Kenny giving me that Dohi O'Shea vibe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so back to the films, uh, Martin Nee, Bow Street, uh, Jamie, I love the tone of this. This is referring to Barry Fahey's uh, film, uh, Gorgeously Shot. Patrick says, cool film, Sarah, okay, so this is the best one so far. Sarah Barbosa, such a good film for a two-man team. Dara says, eerie, uh, JVP, class, love this. Sarah says, very eerie indeed. Uh, George, George, George Lee, I'm not, I'm probably butchering your name and apologies, says, oh my God, that was so frightening. Alan, excellent acting. And uh, I'm going to go over to the comments on the phone because they're a bit delayed um, for Sarah Fahey's film. Uh, I'm just scrolling back now. Uh, yeah, uh, Matthew, your audio has gone there for a second. So I'll just read through a few comments from YouTube, which I have open here. And uh, now I'm not sure what these are in relation to, but hashtag Sleepwalker from a few people from uh, Race Monroy, uh, Sleepwalker from uh, Marcelo Monroy, um, Live Long and Prosper from uh, I'm Anna I'm Delul. I'm Owen Delul's. <laughs> um, XOXO from Brazil from Heron Ribeiro. Uh, awesome film shorts. I'm loving it from Heron Ribeiro. Um, uh, Odete Salgado says amazing with three uh, Brazilian flags. Uh, she says Brazil is here. Welcome Brazil. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of love there for Sleepwalker and uh, Race Manol uh, Monroy. Beautiful. Uh, I think we have uh, Matthew. What's this? They're the comments for Sarah Fahey's film. There, some okay. nice comments about right, the oh, daughter's acting. Okay. Matthew, you're back again. Oh, so I'm <laughs> yeah. Apologies. I'll tag you back in. Tag you back Yay! in. <laughs> the Gremlins are back. <laughs> the Gremlins um, are yeah. back. So a few more comments to Sarah um, Fahey's film. Um, the daughter is brilliant, says Jamie Hooper. The little girl is just so uh, brilliant. Dara says, class. Uh, Val Gibson, she did a fab job acting. Well done. Um, oh my God, acting is amazing. Maura is a superstar. Patrick Kelly says, great film, brilliantly put together. Um, Jamie Hooper, ha 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 ha. Dara mm. O'Rourke, ha, great reveal. Um, very funny, loved this as JVP. Um, and brilliant excellence as Alan Duggan and lastly Jamie you've heard of the elf on the shelf here's a groovy horror movie sounds good let's make it <laughs> <laughs> um, that's brilliant thank you for the comments uh, is it is it back over to me sorry back over to Kenny in the studio thank you very much just want to be clear on that <laughs> you don't want to be getting mixed up uh, so uh, we're going to go to the next filmmaker and uh, she is the team captain of Little Notions she captained the team last year it was her first time taking charge of a film and she seemed to really enjoy it she's back for more punishment this year so please welcome to join us on the stream Vera Kilgallen Vera are you there yeah hi, uh, hi Kenny how are things how are you getting on I'm very good happy Christmas you got your Christmas there I have yeah it, <laughs> it features as well so <laughs> So tell us, um, how did you find the uh, 48 hour challenge? Uh, good, I had a really small team. I only had a team of four. We only really got to use the three of us. Um, so um, my team was John Morley and uh, Jerry Fitzgerald and uh, Fabri Piaz. So it was just the two of us, our two men that were uh, used uh, in this short. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was good. It was tough with the COVID and the whole restrictions and stuff, but really fun weekend. And uh, 
uh, we had a lot of fun making it so i uh, hope you enjoy it cool so tell us what uh, genre did you go with um we went with a comedy and a hint of christmas comedy with hint of christmas very good yeah. and what uh well you had the line and prop what prop did you use um, we actually went with a personal trainer, and his name is uh, Brad Diamond, so you'll be introduced to him uh, as soon as the film opens. Um, that's what we went with. So everyone needs a bit of help to get in shape, don't they? Get in touch with him. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think you'll love him. He really uh, motivates everyone, you know? Excellent. Well, uh, great job in the film, and thank you very much for taking part and uh, for getting the team together again. How would you find it this year versus last year? Was it more stressful, less stressful, or was it about the same? Um, it, different kind of stress. You know, last year was all about locations. This year it was um, just trying to get the, the right um, script and the, and the right, um, you know, technique down or whatever. Um, with COVID as well, you know, I just, I'd love to have, a, you know, a far bigger team um, with me, you know, and hopefully, please God, next year we'll, we'll give it another lash. But um, yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, it probably got a bit more sleep. A uh, huge thank you to Jerry. He did uh, all the editing uh, for this. So um, really, uh, you know, it's, it's him that lost out in the most uh, sleep for this. But uh, I had a lot of fun and I just really want to say thanks a million to the team and best of luck to everyone. And, and thanks again for having me. Um, I wasn't sure if I was in or out this year, but I'm delighted with this. Yeah, yeah, it was great to have you back again with us and have you as a captain. So thank you very much for joining us. and. Uh, uh, yeah, well done the film, and this is the film. Uh, tell us the name of it there. Uh, when Shamey Met Brad. Say that again. When Shamey Met Brad. When Shamey Met Brad. Sorry, I got a little bit of music just, uh, just as you were speaking. That's perfect. Uh, thank you very much, Vera. Take it away, and uh, thank you. We'll talk to you for the awards later on. Great, thanks. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye bye. to Brad Diamond's Ball Busting Home Workouts. Now remember, diamonds are created under pressure, so let's stay calm and let's get it on. What do I got with me today, sir? Um, Seamus. Shamey, Shamey, all right, all right, Shamey. We're going to kick it off with a little warm up here today. We're going to start you off with 10 bicep curls. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, how we doing, Jamie? We doing good, pal? Yeah, good, grand. All right, we're gonna we're gonna kick it off next with uh, ten squats. Here we go. Now keep up. Let's go. One, two. Okay, Grant. <coughs> all right, all right. We're gonna slow everything right down here. We're gonna go into a little uh, quad reset stretch. Okay, so if you just repeat it after me and take everything nice and slow, breathing nice and slow. Breathing nice and slow. All right, here we go. Nice stretch. One, two, three, four. Uh, how you doing there, Jamie? Oh, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and... Shamey? Yeah. Hey, Shamey, pal. Uh, how we doing there? You okay? You still with me? Jamie? Yeah, good. Yeah. How we doing, pal? You still with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still with me, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Uh, 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 uh. One goddamn client. One goddamn client? Who the hell do they think they're dealing with? Uh, God damn. Hey, Shamey! Yeah? How we doing, pal?
down. Shady, I think you got your bell going there, buddy. You got your bell rang. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's... Hello? I have a delivery here for Seamus. Yeah, one minute. Lad had eaten himself. We got a fire! Oh God! Jesus! Oh God! We got a, we got a fire! We got a fire! And we're back. Very well done there to uh, Vera Kilgallen and her team of uh, Little Notions. Uh, that was their film, it was called uh, When Shamey Met Brad. Uh, so great job there guys. We're going to go on to our next film and that is by the team, uh, the Power Rangers. And it's going to be introduced by the, uh, the vice captain of the team, uh, Rena Bryson. Rena, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, Kenny. Hello, how are you? Good, really good. Really enjoying all of the films so far. Brilliant. That last one was hilarious. We're laughing a lot here. Yeah. How did you find the 48 hour challenge yourself? How was it uh, trying to get it all done? Uh, really good. Um, so a lot of us on the team were all like new to the 48 hour challenge. Like some people had done it before, but a lot of us are complete newbies. Hmm. Um, so it was just a really fun way to meet people and all work towards a common goal. It, it was just a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's 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 funny uh, making a film. It can be like a stress-free environment and like very relaxed environment. But when you're in 48 hours, where you have to like come up with the idea, then write it, then shoot it, then edit it, all in 48 hours, it's it's a real baptism of fire when it when it comes to filmmaking. Oh, definitely. But we had a very good team because we all wrote it collaboratively as well. So so that was really fun. There was a real um, sense of camar camaraderie, I suppose. Hmm. Excellent. So tell us, uh, what prop did you go for? Uh, we went for boxing gloves. Boxing gloves. Excellent. Yeah. What, what was the thinking about boxing gloves? Why did you choose them? Um, well, we have one character. Um, uh, in our film, there are, we have a lot of different, very eccentric characters. And one of them is kind of a fitness fanatic, um, kind of a Rocky wannabe. So <laughs> we kind of came up with that character first and then took it from there. Excellent. And so uh, genre wise, you had uh, horror, comedy or Christmas. What did you go for? Uh, comedy with a bit of Christmas thrown in there. Cool. Good stuff. And what is the name of your film? Uh, the name of the film is Stoned Cold Christmas. Stoned Cold Christmas. Excellent. Rita, thank you very much for, for uh, coming on to introduce the film and stick with us for the Zoom later on. We will. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much. Well done the film.
By the way, guys, if you want like any of the products that I'm like using in this video, they're all gonna be like listed in the bio down below. Like some of them are a little pricey, but when it comes to makeup, it's better to just, you know, splurge. It's worth it. You don't wanna be looking tacky. speaking how may I help you uh, oh really uh, you don't say so I, I, I thought that was next week uh, no 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 worries uh, I'll see you then house meeting now now thanks for showing up guys hurry up man I'm going training oh it won't deflate for one minute. Guys, the landlord is coming in an hour. Daddy said he couldn't see me this Christmas. Well, he's gonna be here for a house check. Ah, oh, it'll be fine, man. Don't bring your negative vibes in here. Look at this place. Nah, no, man, he'll be fine. <sighs> he said he was busy. He won't be fucking with me, hey? Shut up, Rob, and start feeding. This is some good shit. <laughs> yeah. Full of protein, hey. That's good. You know the Kardashians? They eat only protein on Wednesdays. What day is it? <laughs> Who cares? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, lads, they're actually all sound. That's right. You are, and, and you. You have fab hair. <laughs> and I've never told you that. Can I feel it? <laughs> yeah, sure. What's mine is yours. <laughs> <laughs> How come we couldn't get along before? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mary, congratulations on the boy. We're having a party for him inside the house. Hey, Santa, what's happening? I followed your advice, man. We're all gonna get along for Christmas. Those desserts are gonna make them all feeling groovy, man. Well, that's not how I would have done it. But if it works, it works. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Excellent, great job there, Rena and team there from uh, uh, Power Rangers team. Well done to all the team there, fantastic work. And uh, that's the second last film of the night. I can't believe how fast no. it's going. We've gone yeah. through the film so fast. Uh, we've got a few comments to go through, so just before we go through the comments, I'll just pass you over to our comments correspondent. 
Matthew Blaney. Matthew Blaney. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to go back to comments uh, for Vera and her team. So um, Mary says, sorry, Marie says, love it, guys. Well done, everybody. Uh, Jamie says, Vera is always up for a collab. Joseph, haha, <laughs> love this. Uh, JVP, what's the biggest, what's the bigger tragedy, falling on the Christmas tree or sandals and socks? Ooh, that's Ooh. a tough one. <laughs> uh, Patrick, uh, classic Galway jersey, indeed. Uh, Jamie, why was that delivery voice so accurate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joseph, um, uh, Jerry Fitzgerald, you're brilliant. Uh, JVP says, Vera on fire as usual. Jamie, I loved Shamie's sheer indifference. Um, Lakshika, class, Vera and team. Dara, Guan, Shamie. And then on to uh, Rena's and team's film, um, and their comments still coming in. Um, uh, Catriona, Catriona, go Rena, Jamie, arms. And I think that's referring to the, mm. the box, the big arms of the boxer guy. And uh, JVP, Joseph Palmer, is this a documentary? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aaron, go on, Joseph Palmer. Patrick says, great cinematography. Jamie, I feel incredibly. I, I must have stopped writing halfway through that. Um, I think I'm getting... Oh, I have to find that now. Jamie, I feel incredibly high. I feel incredibly high. Mm. Says, um, uh, JVP, I think I'm getting a contact, a con. What were we talking about? Or oh, such fun, ha, says Clara Hearn. Jerry Fitzgerald, really enjoyable, everybody. Uh, lots more coming in. Uh, what, what a gorgeous stone house, says Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> and a few more emojis and well done guys and clapping emojis and that was fun says Ananya and go go Power Rangers excellent thank you very much uh, to the comments correspondent Matthew Blaney um, this is this is back to oh sorry uh, and, and back to uh, Kenny in the studio thank you very much thank you Matthew <laughs> uh, so back to me in the studio uh, thank you Matthew and uh, that, that seven of the eight films screened so far, it's amazing. We've gone through them so fast. They've, they've flown. The quality's been so good as well. We're going to go to the last film of the night now. And uh, um, the captain is uh, Kashi Cepeda. And the team name is uh, Phil and Friends. So, Kashi, are you there? Yep, I'm here. With Hello, how are you? Who, who have you got there? Um, my teammates, my housemates as well, Kevin McDevitt, who did the writing, and Paula, who did the set decoration. Welcome to the live stream, guys. How did you find the uh, 48 hour? Oh, it was great. It was good to yeah see how much you could actually do in a limited amount of time. You know, it makes me want to create a film every weekend or something. You know? <laughs> it, it feels like uh, I'm talking to a music video from the 80s. It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> My directing for it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and uh, wh how did you find the, the use of the prop and the, 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 the genre? What genre did you go for? Um, that's up to interpretation, I think. I don't want to like have you uh, with a certain mindset going into it. We'll just yeah. see whatever you decide the genre is. <laughs> and uh, what about the prop? What prop did you go for? We used two. We used tennis shoes and vitamins. Because we weren't sure if vitamins counted, so tennis shoes and vitamins. <laughs> I think you could have you could have got away with both of them, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and so, did you get much sleep over the weekend? Um, more than I expected. Yeah, actually, we finished at about 10 p.m. last night, 10 or 11 p.m. So we got to sleep last night, the so night before. The so edit finished by 10 p.m. last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks to the excellent, uh, excellent editor Kevin Lennon on different Kevin. Yeah, it was very good. Very fast. Well, fair play. Well done on the film. Thank you very much for taking part. We really appreciate you, you going to all the effort and uh, for joining us on Zoom. Uh, tell us the name of your film before we let you go. Our film is Sleepwalker. And thanks very much for the challenge. It was Sleepwalker. Great. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Stick around for the awards later on, okay? Okay. All right. See you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.
Pull these open, but man, they just walk up. Are you alright, man? Fine. You know what? You should go for a run. You know you don't sleep well when you haven't exercised. How far did you go? Uh, 10k. We'll do 15 tomorrow. Key to your room. I'm not five anymore, ma'am. Just give it to me, Sean. Ma'am, what's in these? They're vitamins. They're good for you. They give me bad dreams. Oh, don't be silly. You know you don't sleep well if you haven't exercised. 15k. Who are you? I knew your father. Can you tell me what happened to him? I can show you. No more vitamins. Here. Is there something you want to tell me? Like what? No. Excellent. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, that was uh, Kashi Cepeda there with the film Sleepwalker. Uh, thank you very much uh, to uh, Kashi and the team for making that. Thank you to all the teams for making the films. Uh, it's so hard to make a film uh, in 48 hours. 
And so before we go to take it, we're going to take a break in a, few, in a minute. But before we do, we're going to go to our comments correspondent, Matthew Blaney, to get some uh, get some comments. So Matthew Blaney, over to you in the comments correspondent area. Thank you very much, Kenny. Um, so uh, uh, Christopher Tierney noted that 10 p.m. is cheating hmm. to have it finished at 10 p.m. That's just because his time management skills are, are, are <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, Jamie, is this my life? Uh, Joseph, <laughs> oh crap, what's this leading to? And then um, actually uh, JVP uh, replied to him saying, now that would be telling, wouldn't it? That's uh, earlier in the film, obviously. Uh, Jamie, uh, great dreamlike imagery. Uh, Patrick says, great script. Um, acting, topical and editing. And I'm uh, going to switch over to the phone now because the more are coming in. Um, uh, Camilla, excellent guys. Clara Hearn says, such good work all round. Um, Love the use of the ocean, evocative, unsettling, provoking, says Jamie. Uh, spooky Suburbia, says Dara. Val says, well done, guys. Uh, Michael Patrick Breen. Kashi, Kev and the gang, excellent. Wow, that was fantastic, says Ben, ben Stafford. Uh, Rena, wow, that was beautiful and thrilling. Uh, yes, he says, well done. Very Donnie Darko meets the Matrix, orange pills um, reference. Uh, excellent, and so many good theatre room Galway people involved, says Claudia. And uh, lastly, sorry, costume design was so gorgeous, says Rena. Excellent. And we got some comments in from uh, from YouTube as well. Um, uh, Amber Shanef uh, for Vera. Lovely work, Vera. Um, Ciao Indica says, hello, guys. Uh, Sleepwalker with the play icon. Go Raesa from Bellino Luis. Uh, Aguida Dorotea. Oh, sorry, I'm going to get your name completely wrong. Um, Hi, Kashi, she says. Uh, hashtag Sleepwalker from uh, Ray Semonroy, uh, multinational film um, from uh, Aguada. So I'm going to ruin your name again. I'm not going to. Mm. <laughs> not going to try and ruin it. Um, yeah, lots of love there for Kashi. Uh, congrats, Kashi. Loved it from Victor Cepeda. Um, Omni Sepinen go uh, Raisa. Uh, congratulations to all from Victor Cepeda. Uh, woo go Kashi. That was wild from. Uh, I'm in own the Lules, um, and uh, sorry, sorry to everyone whose name I've ruined there. I apologise. Um, as you can see, I'm not a professional comments reader as as uh, Matthew Blaney is. He's, he's that's why he's on the big books. Um, so uh, that's the end of the uh, the eight films. Thank you so much to all the filmmakers who've put in so much effort over the last 48 hours and in the prep for the last few weeks and getting their team together and all the behind the scenes that goes into to get the team ready for this. Um, I saw to all the teams, uh, we had Last Minute Kings, uh, What Are Yat Films, uh, People's Republic of Cinema, Celtic Badger Media, Farm Studios, Little Notions, The Power Rangers, Film Friends, well done to all of you. Thank you very, very much for taking part. Um, we're going to take a break now for 10 minutes um, to allow us to prepare for the awards section of the show and uh, to get everyone lined up. And so, uh, do stick around. We're going to have um, uh, lots of awards to give out. We got awards for uh, best use of line, best use of prop, best actor, best actress, best editing, best special effects, best cinematography, and best film. Uh, and no, I don't have a teleprompter. That's all up there. That's how the pros do it. That's how uh, Dahi O'Shea does it. <laughs> I've, I've read his book. Um, and so, yeah, uh, so don't go anywhere. Stay with us. And uh, uh, Adrian's going to play the, the little uh, thing with the countdown timer which shows how long was left. So we can go make a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want to do and come back to us. So we'll see you in 10 minutes. Thank you all very much. See you soon.
And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, after the uh, the little break there <laughs> to our live stream, um, we're going to be doing the awards very soon. Uh, Matthew, how was your break? It was lovely, uh, filled with uh, fizzy sweets and the Red Bull. Hmm. How was your uh, break, Kenny? My break was actually very good as well. I really enjoyed it. And uh, uh, we don't have any sponsor yet for a break. So if any any sponsors out there want to sponsor a break, then just do get in touch. <laughs> 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 that's just an example of that type of banter we have, isn't it? Yeah, that's just, just, that's one, just one example. One of many. <laughs> one of many. <laughs> and we have loads of them. We have loads of them little yeah. things. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we will be starting the award soon. I'll just outline what we're going to do. We will be, um, we have eight awards to give out and we have four judges. And so each judge will give out two awards and uh, they'll give two awards um, uh, in, in one segment and then we'll go to the next uh, judge and so on until we get all the awards given out. And uh, so the awards are, and I'll explain who the judges are as well, uh, for um, the best line, best use of line and best use of prop, we will have Gower Bryan giving out those awards. Gower Bryan, uh, who was earlier on, is uh, head of film at the uh, IFTA and he is the ex-programmer of the Gold Films Last, so we're delighted to have Gar. Um, then uh, to give out the next awards, uh, we have Roisin Lihurisk, who is the head of content at uh, the Block TG Gahar, uh, the online uh, branch of uh, TG Gahar. So we're delighted to have Roisin here for that. She's given the Best Actress and Best Actor Award. And uh, then after that, we will be giving out the uh, Best Editing and Best Special Effects. And that will be uh, given out by uh, Oisin uh, McCullough. Uh, he is a director at both Ross Naroon and Fair City, as well as a, a, a filmmaker who makes lots of films uh, uh, in his own right uh, uh, in his spare time as well. So it's fantastic to have, have him here. And then we will uh, finish with the last two awards of the uh, Best Cinematography and Best Film. And they will be introduced by Eve Collins, who is the shorts programmer of the Gaul Film Fla and the uh, Curry International Film Festival and lots of other awards uh, festivals around the world. So we're delighted to have those four, um, four judges with us. And um, that's the order we'll be, we'll be giving them in. Uh, we, the, we gave the judges the films earlier on today, uh, just after 12 o'clock, and they watched them in their own time. And then they had a Zoom chat at 2 o'clock where they uh, independently chose uh, their favourites for each category. And so the Little Cinema and the Gola, and the Gola Film Centre have nothing to do with this. And so we have no say in the awards at all. We're just um, uh, facilitating the, the, the judges watching them. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it was a tough uh, process from, from talking to the judges. There was some very difficult decisions there. Uh, before we go with the awards, what I will do is I would like to talk to uh, the, the uh, Gawler Film Centre and Alan Duggan, who is the manager from the Gawler Fil Film Centre, because uh, this wouldn't have happened without the support of the Gawler Film Centre. And um, with, with the whole issue with COVID happening in March, this is meant to be happening in June, and it got pushed back, and then we said, let's try it in October. And then COVID happened again, lockdown happened, we couldn't do it in October and it really was looking like it wasn't going to happen, but thankfully we were able to do it in December. And it's, it's mainly down to the fact that we had so much support from the uh, Gold Film Centre. They went out of their way and they bent over backwards to make, make it possible for us because it really shouldn't have been possible to do this, but it's down to them that we are able to do this. So I'd like to welcome onto the stream Alan Duggan to join us and to have a few words with him. Alan, how are you? Hi. How are you? Ho, ho, ho. Dahi, is that you, Dahi? <laughs> Dahi, you have to take a break. <laughs> How are you? Thank you, Kenny. You're out doing us with the festiveness again. We said we're going to wear a Christmas hat today. We've got to, but at least we have, uh, we have a Christmas tree beside us this time. Absolutely. I was feeling left out. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong way. I was feeling left out of the Blue Hoodie Brigade. So, you know, this is the best I could do. You want to get some black tape, cover that over. Ah. <laughs> So how did you enjoy That's the screening? Had a great stream. Did you enjoy the films? Oh, fantastic! I, I like. It, it was incredible to see the the creativity and the ingenuity that people, you know, the the lengths that people went to given the restrictions, mm. and, and the results are just fantastic. Fair play to all the filmmakers. Absolutely great. And like I was saying to Matthew earlier on, it's hard enough to make a film in forty eight hours, but when you do it in December, when there's little or no light. It's so cold, it's a bit windy, it's rainy, it, and COVID restrictions. It's incredible that, that filmmakers were able to do all this. They, they, they really um, outdone themselves. They were so, so, and so there was good. a few there that, you know, the, the forest, very hard to get lighting in the forest this time of year. And absolutely. Multiple locations outdoors. It, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. 
And so we wanted to say to you uh, and the Gold Film Centre, um, uh, Owen Butler Thornton, Jade Murphy, Sarah Dillon, thank you so much for your support and for making this happen. Not at all, Kenny. Look, at, thank you uh, to you, most especially, obviously, uh, to Dahi, well, <laughs> Julio, uh, but to the whole team there and to Unbound, everybody. As like, you've done a fantastic job and we're more than delighted to support you. Well, thank you very much. And you launched it for us as well on uh, on Thursday. And have you got your glass of wine there? No, sadly, it's water tonight. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> ahead of the school night tomorrow. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, Alan, thank you very much for joining us and thank you for your support and for making us happen. We really, really appreciate it. We'll be seeing you again soon. Not at all. Thanks, Ken. Yeah. Thanks, Alan. Thank you very much. Um, that was great. So uh, thank you again very much to Alan and the Gold Film Centre. Um, I think, uh, unless you have some comments you want to go through? Yeah, there's a few comments coming okay. in. Um, let me just before, uh, let me just pass you over to our uh, comments correspondent in our car comments correspondent corner. Thank you very much. You're Kenny. very welcome. Um, so here in the uh, comments corner, um, there is a few comments coming in. And uh, Sarah O'Byrne says, that was the shortest 10 minutes in history. Hmm. Uh, JVP says, maybe the break could be sponsored by an earbud company. Is that because it is? I believe so. Hmm. Yeah. We'll have to word them. And uh, that was quickly followed up uh, by Patrick Kelly saying, but think of all the wax. Are they insinuating <laughs> that I have, oh my God. I believe they are. Their cheek. Yeah, it's just another example of some of the laughs they have. I bet they wouldn't say that about Dahi O'Shea. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe Mahan. Dahi O'Shea, he doesn't have ear wax, though. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> Joe Mann, uh, drum roll please. Barry Gilmartin, great stuff folks. Uh, Assumpta Hessian says, well done everyone. Great talent. Sarah O'Byrne, yes, well done everybody. Back to uh, Kenny in the... Um... Studio? Studio. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matthew. And uh, so now it is to the, the serious part. We've got some awards to give out now. Um, so uh, we're going to start off with the first two awards which are for the uh, best use of line and best use of prop. And so to introduce those awards, I want to introduce, uh, invite onto the stream, Gar O'Brien. Gar, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for joining us and thank you for taking part in the, in the judging process with us. Uh, listen, an absolute pleasure. Um, having done the 48 hour once before myself with a team who did a lot more work than I did, uh, I can tell how hard it is, how difficult it is, how little sleep you get um and to do it under the circumstances like in december this year and you know with lockdown having just released i think people, they all did an absolutely incredible job uh and i think yourself as well i'd like to say you've done an absolutely amazing job uh today as well it's not easy to host these things and i think it's been uh it's been brilliant to watch it it's been a great great evening thank you very much appreciate it um uh yeah thank you uh, i i, I, I no, I, I had something to say there, but I better not say it because it's probably not... Uh, not say it. Just, 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 no, no uh, keep going, Kenny. Uh, I'm going on a, a cul-de-sac here. Um, uh, thank, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Gar. Um, and so uh, you're going to be doing the, the, the best use of line, first of all. And yes. uh, so before we get to talk about that, we might invite the, uh, the captains into the stream who will be... Uh, one of the captains will be accepting this award. So captains will join us in the stream here. Uh, and so while they join us, uh, could you tell us uh, what were your thoughts on the use of lines and how uh, inventive people were and your general ideas on uh, on the use of the line in the films? Well, when I'd read the line before seeing any of the films, I was like, OK, that's going to be tricky to work in organically and not seem shoehorned in. But every single one of them, I thought, made it relevant and made it part of their work. And it didn't stick out like a sore thumb on anything. So I think they all did a lot of work to get that in there and make it relevant to their story. And it worked very, very well. Excellent. And so um, was there any lines, we won't announce the winner yet, but is there any, any lines that you, or any films that you thought uh, uh, were deserving of mention that you wanted to mention? Um, for this, as I said, I think they all did incredibly well. The winner we picked for a very specific reason, which I'll, I'll get to, but um, I think they all did them um, quite humorously as well. Uh, some of them, like uh, I think House of a Thousand Eyes did it, or something very important to do with the COVID. Um, and I see uh, Connor and Jamie there have the weirdest, the most wonderful background, <laughs> uh, which uh, kind of doesn't surprise me in some ways. But um, <laughs> no, I think everyone did a really fantastic job working that in. 
Okay, excellent. Well, I think that we are ready to announce the winner. Let me just check with the guys. We're ready to announce the winner, are we guys? Yeah, we are, I think. Okay. So, uh, Gar, could you let us know who is the winner for the first prize, which is the uh, uh, best use of line in the film? Well, as I said, we had a tough decision to make because everyone did such a great job working it in, but we felt that the winner really worked something very different with it in that they made it a conversation between two people and made it two lines of dialogue and very organic. And in that sense, we'd like to award best line, best use of line to Sleepwalker. <laughs> so well congratulations. Done, <laughs> well done, guys. How would you feel? Good. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So um, any, uh, any thoughts on how you incorporate the line or uh, who came up with the idea of using the line that way? It's the writer here, so it's <laughs> Um. This was like, uh, I think, 3 a.m. on the Friday night, and I was going insane, and the line was just repeating in my head endlessly. Hmm. And I was about to go insane, and then I just somehow, I thought, oh, wait, what if I change it somehow? What if I break it up? I don't know. I just I just wanted to, to make it stop running through my head. So I... <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent. Well done, well done uh, to uh, the team of... Uh... Double check the team name. Um, <laughs> Phil and Friends. I'm sorry, I, I, my, my mind would absolutely blank there. Phil and Friends, well done. Kashi Sabeda. And uh, it was a Kevin McDevitt who was the writer of it? Yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done, guys. Fair play. Thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, excellent. Um, my brain went absolutely dead there. I, 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 could, I could hear nothing. Um, okay, so uh, next up, uh, Gar, we have the second award, which you will be introducing. Um, and that is for the best use of prop. Um, and so um, uh, before we get to that point, how did you find the uses of props and the, the, the choice of props in all the films? Um, terrific. And I think um, people took it in some very different directions as well. I particularly enjoyed uh, Brad Diamond being a, a prop himself <laughs> in the When Jamie Met Brad. But I also think people use this um, really centrally to their stories in a lot of ways. Um, like in Random Acts of Kindness, the bike kind of was the catalyst and the MacGuffin of the whole piece was very strong. The, um, in Your Own Worst Enemy, I really like that montage of going down the weights, which is how I would use them <laughs> personally until I was just holding the bar. And um, the boxing uh, boxing bag, uh, I couldn't even think of the name for it. I'm not really a gym person, Kenny. <laughs> I think, um, everyone used them all very, very, very well again. And none of them kind of stood out or jarred. They were all used very, very well within the pieces, which is hard to do when you're sprung on this and to make it seem natural and organic. So I think everyone did really well on that. Yeah, it's it's strange. I think when you're given an award like last year where you're, you're, you're literally given a prop to use, you know, okay, I have to use this now. Um, and you know, you have to incorporate that into the film. But when you're given like a, a genre of prop, it makes it a little bit, little bit more difficult because you have to come up with what prop to use and then how to use it. So it's, it makes it, it, even though it's, it gives you more choice, sometimes having more choice makes it more difficult. Absolutely. Um, it's the tyranny of choice, isn't it? Uh, the phrase, but I, I think, as I said, they all did a really remarkable job and it was a really good idea as well. Something that would get you fit given, you know, people have been a little bit fitter over COVID and, you know, from, you know, tennis shoes to bicycles to everything we saw on that, I think people did a really, really good job of it. Excellent. So let me just check uh, if we're ready to go to the, we're ready, yeah? Okay. So uh, we'll bring on, bring on the filmmakers. So Gar, would you like to tell us um, about your choices for the, the winner of the best use of prop in the film? Yeah, again, it was a very tough decision for the all of the judges, and we discussed it uh, back and forth. But we felt this one was so core to the, I suppose, overall uh, concept of the piece and worked really well in uh, two particular moments in it. And it was, of course, an ab workout uh, machine, which are bloody terrifying to use. Mm. And I think they're used very, very effectively in the wonderful mm. House of a Thousand Eyes. So well done. Well done, Hoopers. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Where did you Thank get your, your ab? Uh, oh, is, is, that's your ab thing, is it, uh, Jamie? I have an actual abs trainer. And yes, they, they are very intense. They're it's very funny. They are terrifying things to you. Yeah. you. Like, put them up straight up to the hardest thing they can do. And you will. Um, and it's something that we shied away from in the film. Um, you'll think you're going to shit yourself. <laughs> 
like that's how how how, much, how like how little control you have over your muscles mm. when this is strapped to you. And um, this is why I loved it, which is why when you said fitness item, um, Connor suggested straight away that is the item because it is so it it, it, it suggests so much more than than uh, any other item you can get to make fit because it's so weird. It's a weird thing. How did you? Sorry, this is a different question. How did you decide who is captain and who is number one? Well, he was captain. He just didn't want to wear the red one. Like <laughs> yeah, and it's mystery yeah. about aesthetics. I want to be yellow. I want to be closer to the con. Yeah. And he's got the, you know, he's on the mm. chair. I want to be doing the buttons here at the front. The captain so. never drinks alcohol. That's the thing about Star Trek, though. Synthahol. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the Well, uh, Hoopers, all. congratulations for winning the best prop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Good. Well Our, done, guys. Uh, okay, judges. Thank you so much. Well done, guys. Okay, excellent. Gar, thank you very much for uh, joining us for that um, and for uh, deliberating earlier on with the rest of the judges. Next up, we have uh, to welcome to the stream our second judge, uh, Roshi Nihurisk. Roshi, are you there? I'm here, yeah. Hi. Hi, Kenny. How are you? I'm Hello, very good, thank everyone. you. Thank you for joining us. Um, how did you find the judging earlier on? Great. Um, it's my first time I've been involved in this, so um, I was delighted to be asked, and um, it was a great thing to do on a Sunday morning <laughs> um, to watch the groups because they were so, they were just, the standard was amazing. And um, to be just chatting with the rest and talking about, you know, the stuff that's been made, it was, it was, I loved it. And it was, it was, it was a great selection of judges and like uh, people with so much experience in various just different areas. I think it was, it was nice to be able to have the, the different um, uh, viewpoints and aspects of the, of the industry represented in the, uh, in the in the judging panel. So I think we had, we had a great uh, lineup of judges for it, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I was able to listen into what, what what was going on. It was it was a tough process as well. He, he didn't find it easy. No, we went through it a few times, and uh, the ones that we couldn't decide on, we kind of left aside and we came back to them. Um, I suppose the the one that we had a bit of um, trouble with was the best actor, which is who I'll announce now soon, but. Um, yeah, the, the standard was amazing for for this challenge because, like, like everyone's saying, it's forty eight hours to, 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 to film um, and to finish, and then with the questions, it's, it's just amazing. Excellent. Uh, so let me just check uh, if we're ready to go to the to the actors yet, guys. Yeah. Okay, so uh, for everyone who's watching, any of the, uh, whoever's watching and who are on Zoom, could you just mute yourselves uh, so that we don't mute, mute what's on Facebook so we don't hear what you're saying? Is that okay? That's all right. We don't want to hear the live stream from Facebook. So whoever's watching the Facebook, just to mute the live stream so we, we can't hear back what's going on, if that makes, is that, is that right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so anyone on Zoom, just mute whatever, wherever you're watching it during this part, you can mute it if that's possible. Um, okay, so uh, uh, we're going to be going to the, to the uh, actors and actresses soon. Um, and uh, uh, Roshi, you're in charge of the, uh, um, given the results for the actors and actresses, you, f you found the, uh, the actors role particularly t tough, did you? We did, yeah. I, I suppose there's more male actors in it than, than females, so it was, you know, it was a kind of a toss-up between a few different ones. But they all did a great job. I mean, it's not easy. You know, well, if you're into it, you know, you'll do a great job. But, um, we, yeah, we riddled it down to two in the end, so... Cool. Yeah. Well, It was I a tough decision. What we'll do is we'll bring on the actors now, and uh, they'll join us on the stream. And uh, mm -hmm. you can let us know what your thoughts are and who the winners winner of the best actor is. Okay. Um, well, before we I, we announce the um, the best um, actor, we'd like to first we all well decided that we'd like to give an honorary mention to someone and um, someone who wasn't um, nominated, but we just wanted to give a shout out to him, and that was Michael Patrick Green for playing a very conv convincing uh, bad Santa. Mm -hmm. So. Um, well done, uh, uh, Michael, there. So um, now I'm going to announce the uh, best actor for this year's 48 Hour uh, Cinema Challenge. And this goes to Emmett Byrne. And the reason oh. we decided, oh. congratulations. <laughs> the reason we decided on Emmett was um, that we felt he brought um, the character to life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Through the voiceover and to the expression. 
expressive to still images. Um, don't be uh, Excellent. So, uh, Hoopers, you have a, a second award for your film, Emmett Bird. Emmett Bird won Best Actor Award last year also. Yes, um, I, I just want to say that he did an incredible job um, because of the distance, the social, the distance nature of this um, work meant that we, you know, you can't do direction in the normal way. Connor did a great job, uh, I would say, specifically of, of directing Emmett in the sense that, uh, of working with Emmett in the sense that, uh, of working with the, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the body. Emmett's, Emmett's face is there, but it's, it's, it's my body. But it is Emmett's oh. also. Connor did a great job of, of really working through that. And it, with the distance, it's harder than you are. Well, you know, when you're there in real life, you can talk to an actor and you can talk shot for shot. But um, I think, yeah, like, Emmett did an amazing performance. He brought so much more than, than, than we ever suggested. And, and then he worked massively well with Connor in terms of like developing that performance uh, over the distance. So well deserved. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks. Well done, well done, guys, and uh, well done, Emmett. Excellent. Uh, so that was the best actor award given to Emmett Byrne. Uh, well done, Emmett. Uh, it's, it's very, it's very hard. Like uh, he's did so much with the, the voice yeah, actor. Yeah. He did a great job at it, and uh, the Hoopers did a great job with the uh, with the directing of him and the execution mm -hmm. of it. So well done there. So Roshin, we're going to be going on to the uh, the actresses now, and um, mm -hmm. uh, how did you find uh, the the actress category? Great, the, all the girls did a great job. Yeah, fantastic. It was another very tough category and uh, so, some uh, great performances in it. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, we'll go through now in, in, the, in just, a, just a minute. Um, but uh, there was uh, less actresses than there was for um, uh, actors. But I think mm -hmm. that uh, the performance of, of the actors who were nominated was excellent. It, it was a very difficult choice for you. It was, yeah, and it was a great range. We, I mean, we saw, you know, from young to old, not so old, but you know, it was a great range of, of different uh, acting skills and styles. So that's always good. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. And lots of different genres as well. I suppose with the fact that you could have either a comedy or a horror or a um, Christmas film, it meant that you're gonna get all different styles of acting and all different uh, uh, types of uh, acting needed for, for, from the people involved. Yeah, and there's a bit of natural comedy as well there, without being trying to be funny. There's just something natural that come, comes across, and I, I we picked that up in, um, I suppose, one of the reasons why we chose the winner, I suppose. I don't want to give too much away at this stage. Cool, yeah, no worries. So what we'll do is now we will bring the actresses onto the Zoom call with us live. And uh, now that they're all here, Roshan, I will get you to give us your thoughts on the winner of the Best Actress uh, Award. Okay, again, we have another honorary mention. We just couldn't let this go. And um, so before I announce the winner the, of the Best Actress, I'd, we'd like to give this honorary mention to Maura Healy. Um, we felt she brought a great energy to the character. She looked great on camera, and I think she's got a, a, long, a long career ahead of her. So well done, Maura. Well done, Maura. Yeah. And so this year's um, winner for the 48-hour challenge uh, Best Actress, um, goes to Vera Gilgannon. And the reason, <laughs> we felt she just had a very natural presence on screen. And uh, kudos for being an advocate for the mask wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Vera, um, congratulations. Um, I'm blown away. Um, oh, I don't know what to say. Um, I had a great team, to be honest, and really, they, I didn't intend to be in it at all, but uh, I suppose it's just sewn up together. Um, <laughs> it's been some week, I'll tell you. Um, I just thanked a million. I had loads of fun doing it, and really, the two lads were brilliant. And um, thanks so much. I'm chuffed. <laughs> well done. So Congratulations, Vera. Two ears, two bits of tears. Brilliant. We get tears off Vera every time. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Vera. You were brilliant, though. Well thank done. You. Thank you so much. Well done. Thanks, Thanks Vera. Well done. Thank you very much. And Roisin, thank you very much for joining us as well for uh, well being, being with the judges. Thank you very much. Well done for a great festival. Great. great. Thank, thank you. Geez. Thank you, Roisin. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, excellent. So nice to see uh, yeah. Vera getting so happy about it I and know, so emotional. Um, excellent. Uh, 
Is there any judges or, or any uh, comments you want to go through before we go into the, the next category? Sure. Um, so I'm just going to scroll back through them. Um, con uh, Alan Duggan says, uh, con congrats to the Hoopers. Um, uh, Patrick Kelly, congrats to the Sleepwalkers for the best use of Best use line. of line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, then uh, Kira, nice one, boys. Congrats to the People Republic of to the People's Republic of uh, Cinema. Yeah. <laughs> um, congrats, guys. Says Joseph Palmer. Congrats to the Hoopers. Says JVP. Um, congrats, Emmett. Says Alan Duggan. Uh, well done, well done, Emmett Byrne and the Hoopers. Says Dara. Uh, Jamie Hooper. Yes, Vera. Good job, uh, Joseph Palmer. Great job, Vera. Uh, Alan Duggan says, bravo, Mora, and congrats, Vera. Well done, Mora, says Dara O'Rourke. Um, congrats, Vera, says JVP. Patrick Kelly, con uh, congrats, Vera. Uh, Val Gibson, well done, Mora, and well done, Vera. Congrats, Vera Kilgallen, says Dara O'Rourke. Cool, excellent. Uh, very good. So we're going to go to our next couple of categories, which are going to be for best editing and best special effects. And to introduce those categories for us is uh, our judge, Ushi McCullough. Ushi, are you there? Hi Kenny, how are you doing? Very good, thank you for joining us again. Thank you for having me, I really, it was my pleasure. As Gareth said, it was a great way to spend the Sunday morning watching fantastic shorts, so thank you for having me again. It was, uh, uh, this is your second time back, you were a judge a couple of years ago, and uh, thank you so much for being part of it again. We really appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to be involved in it. Um, and it's great to have someone with your experience as well, being able to um, uh, be, be a judge for us. Thank you. Um, so you judged our editing and best special effects. How did you find I those did. categories? Um, well, having spent as much time in edit suites as I have, I, I know that the edit is kind of where the story is really told. So it's the last step to before what we see and how, how the story comes together. So to do that in 48 hours, to get the stories that we saw today across the 48 hours shot and edited, it, it, it was just, um, it, was, it was a feat. Well, it, it, it was... Um, it was an eighth, as we say, so um, congrats to everyone for doing that. Um, judging the editing, uh, as Gar and Roshin both said, uh, we went through a couple of, we went through the list a few times, kept circling back around to a few, uh, a few, um, few of the categories, and editing was one of them. So it was a really tough choice for something. Um, I have just lost a little bit of audio here. Um, can you, uh, have I lost audio, or is it just me who's lost audio? Has the stream lost audio? So I'll talk to you guys. Okay, okay, cool. So, Ushi, just hang on one second. There could be just something going on uh, with something, but we will get it sorted out. So, while we are uh, waiting for this, uh, while the gremlins are getting sorted out, because it just did, I've lost the audio for... Yeah, we're going to go to Matthew to uh, talk about the, uh, the award so far. Um, so, so far, we have the best use of line is Sleepwalker by uh, Little Notions, mm -hmm. and Cashy Cepeda was the, uh, the captain there. Yeah. Best use of prop. Uh, House of a Thousand Eyes, um, which is by People's Public Cinema, Jamie yeah, Hooper. Yeah. Uh, Best Actor, Emmett Byrne, again from uh, People's Public Cinema. And uh, that's Jamie Hooper, Captain there. And then Best Actress, Vera Kilgallen, uh, from the team Little Notions. And uh, uh, Vera Kilgallen, obviously, the, the captain there. So it's um, spread between three teams so far. And uh, just waiting for audio to come back. But um, how have you found the award so far? I think because you watched the films earlier on as well. Yeah. It's, um, it's it, tough, isn't it? Oh, bit, yeah, very tough. Uh, I wouldn't like to be in the judges' shoes, to be honest, um, especially with the the actors and actresses. And yeah, it can't be easy. But the 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 films in general are just mind blowing for me when you re when you realise it's literally forty eight hours that they that they have. You mm. know, from from when the announcement was made at nine a when they started at nine a.m. and then some of the the Especially, um, like, like, like Sheikah's one as well, with the amount of. Yeah. I, I'm just going to. Uh, sorry, could I stop you there? Sorry, I was just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to test the audio with Ushin there. Ushin, are you on board there? Uh, can I just see if I can hear your audio? Yeah, can you? Have you got me now? I can hear you again now, yes. Thank you very much. Sorry, I don't know what, uh, what Gremlin was there, but uh, it's, it's back. It's, it's allowed me to hear you. So, Perfect. Um, is that a good thing or a bad thing, Kenny? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, no, it's. It, it, it's, it's uh, Yes. No, I'm just getting the, the lottery numbers here. One second. Will you jot this down? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we'll go with the uh, best editing. Uh, so um, I think we might have the, uh, the editors uh, ready to join us on the stream here on Zoom. 
and they'll come on screen. Uh, as they come on screen, I'll get you to talk talk us through your thought process when it comes to the editing and choosing the winner. Yeah, well, we felt that every film was well paced, well edited, and moved along very, very easily and fantastic to watch. Um, there was no real kind of moments where we felt this could have gone quicker, where it was just fantastically edited. But in the end, the, the one we picked, we felt had the strongest pace, moved along, at, considering what the story was. Uh, we went with David Kittelay, I hope I said that correct, uh, from uh, Last Minute Kings and Random Acts. Hmm. <laughs> well done. <laughs> like Sheikha, you look taken by surprise there. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I completely forgot I was on him. Yeah, uh, David's not here. I have not heard from him since he stopped the edit. <laughs> you scared and, him off. Uh, I'm, he, he'll be well delighted. I think he put about 20 hours into that edit. And 20 was, hours, really? Yeah. So were you yeah. filming and then starting to edit as you were filming, or did you just start editing yeah, once you? Yeah, so I think when we finished the first day, I just dumped all the footage for him, and then we went and shot the second day. So he had, yeah, he was he was destroyed by the end. <laughs> um, he'll be beyond delighted, I think. Um, and also, his, his name is uh, Dave. Uh, Dave Killerly, is it? Uh, I think so. I, <laughs> I think that's how he pronounces his surname. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, he did a great job, anyways, and uh, thank you very much for being involved in it. And pass on our co co congratulations to him. We'll be in touch, anyways, with him. Well, I'll find him and tell him that. I, I hope he's watching. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Congrats, Lexiga. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thanks, guys. So uh, next up, we are going to be go back to Oshin, and we're going to be talking about the uh, the best special effects used in films. Um, and so, Oshin, are you there? Still here. Still here. Cool. Great. Um, yeah. So the, the special effects. Um, uh, how would you find the use of special effects? Because not every not every team would use special effects, but for some for some some films, special effects really make the film and really add something to it. Well, I, I felt it was a very brave choice to put in a special effect with forty eight hours. I mean, how did they find the time to add that extra layer onto it? It was just uh, I wouldn't have done it. I would have stayed nice and safe and avoid the special effects. Um, but um, as you said, not every film used it. There was only four films overall used it. So you would think that would make the child, the um, the selection easier, but actually made it harder because everyone that used it used it so well. So it, it was a tougher choice than the edit, even though it was less less options for us. Mm, yeah, yeah. Even though there was just uh, the the four uh, four teams nominated themselves for it, um, the teams who used special effects used it really well and like did a great mm, job. Absolutely, on it. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so again, it was a tough choice. Again, we circled back a few times to this. Um, so um, I suppose without further ado, um, the award goes to Ryan McKenna again for Random Acts and Last Minute Kings. <laughs> well done, Lashika. So will you be accepted on behalf of Ryan McKenna? Well, I'm, I'm here. Am I there? Here? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, like she got either, or is is Ryan there? Uh, I'm I'm there. I'm not oh, sure. Ryan. Oh, how are you? Because I can I can see like she on screen. So uh, one second. Nope. Oh, I, there, oh, there you are, Ryan. How are you? How are you? I'm grand. Uh, uh, yeah, it's the first time I think. Uh, yeah, we've won two prizes in any. <laughs> these <little stuff. laughs> and so tell us about the special effects. Uh, are these real time effects or were they video effects? Um, they were all practical. Wow. That's incredible. So all, all the blood spurting was all practical effects. Yep, they went wrong a bunch of times. We just had to keep doing them, and uh, all our actors got horribly cold. <laughs> <laughs> we had to had to warm up a bit. Um, uh, the rest of the crew was also just freaking freaking great. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. Like, uh, yeah, special effects. Uh, I'm kind of a bit flabbergasted to be honest, but. Uh, all healed in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. And the fact that they were all like real time effects is really impressive. Uh, so well done on being able to pull it off. And so fair play and congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers, Ryan. Thanks very much. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Um, excellent. Yeah, so uh, doing like special effects in digital effects is like it, it's tough to do anyways, but do yeah. it in like real time where you have the, the, the blood spurting and um, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Yeah, I, I, I can't see how they did it. Like, which you know, especially with the knife. And, yeah, yeah. You know, wow. Yeah, very good. Very good job. Very well deserved. Uh, yeah. So well done there, Ray McKenna. Excellent job. Um, so our last two categories are for best cinematography and for best film. 
And uh, these two awards will be introduced by Eve Collins, uh, who is the short coordinator of the FLA, as well as um, so many other uh, film festivals across Ireland and the world. Excuse me. So, uh, Eve Collins, are you there? Hi, Kenny. How are you doing? Uh, very good, thank you. Thank you for joining us again. And for this is your fourth time as a judge, and we really appreciate yeah, the fact you're with us every year. There's no getting rid of me at this point. I'm here for the hoodies. <laughs> you're part of the you're part of the furniture now. But it, I am. It, it, I am. It, it's great to have you here, and to see you wear the hoodie. Thank you very much for representing. Of course, I wear it all the time. <laughs> Um, so you were in charge of, or you, you're um, giving the awards for best cinematography and best film. Um, yeah. How did you find the, uh, the the choosing process for those categories? Very difficult, uh, very difficult. Actually, I think cinematography in particular, because everybody really was very different, very unique, chose very different styles. Um, so yeah, it, it definitely was not easy. Um, it gets harder every year as well. It really does. So. Um, so, but it was nice to it was nice to be able to you know sit over Zoom and have a bit of time and to chat about it. But I do say I have to say I, I do miss everybody in the uh, in the town hall and you guys and all, all that excitement. So I'm looking forward to uh, being back next year. It's me inviting myself back already, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, we'll have you back next year if you can put it on. And uh, I think uh, Manola was saying that something like that on was a YouTube or Facebook saying as much as he enjoys watching the films from home, he really misses the theatre environment and having everyone together as a group. So. Yeah, completely what you're saying there. Um, right. As much as this is cool, it would be so so much nicer to have everyone together in a room. Yeah, and then even it'll be even more special next year as well. So um, yeah, absolutely, yeah, something to look forward to. Um, so I think uh, let me just check with the guys. Do we have the um, cinematography group ready to come on? We do. We have them here. Excellent. Um, so uh, Eve, you can maybe talk us through your process for the choice of cinematography, and then you can let us know who the winner is. Perfect. Um, so as I said, everybody really chose very different styles and techniques. Um, and I think it was one of the hardest, uh, the hardest decisions because I think everybody had a favorite. And then we kind of decided uh, all together that um, Barry Fahey from Motionless would, uh, would win this award. So congratulations, Barry. Hey, excellent. Well thanks, done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Uh, no, uh, thanks very much. Uh, thanks all the judges and thanks, Kenny. And uh yeah no there was some great films in there so uh proud to uh to take home that one <laughs> and you also win best lighting for the uh the live stream for, for the zoom yeah <laughs> the, you know, the, we do enough zoom calls the that it was worth mounting the lights permanently <laughs> <laughs> um but uh, congrats on the, the best cinematography um what Thank did you, you shoot it on uh i actually i shot it on my my camera i i don't i I guess I have the advantage. I, I do have a red camera, so nice. uh, that was kind of my uh, my gift to, to myself quite a few years ago, and I bought a second-hand one, and I've worked it very hard since. So. <laughs> and Ray says he has a blue camera. Uh, is that the same thing? or? Yeah, yeah, just a different shade. Just, <laughs> you know, the, the other side of the colour wheel. <laughs> uh, excellent. Well, Barry, congratulations. Well done on the film, and uh, well done to Paul as Thank well. You Thank you for all the work you put into the film as well, and for being a part of this. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much, yeah. everybody. Cheers. Thanks, Barry. Um, excellent. Uh, so, uh, Eve, back to you now. And so this is like the um, the category where the the prize is 500 euros for the, the winning uh, winning film, which is, a, uh, I suppose, the, the main prize of the night. And it's, it's the toughest one to choose. Um, and so uh, before we go to your choice on the choice of best film, um, how did you find the process of trying to nail down the, the best film? Oh, it was very difficult because I think we're all coming in from kind of different points of views and, you know, different craft scenarios. So everybody had their um, kind of had their favorite and, you know, something they liked in each of them that made it the best for them. Um, so it definitely it definitely wasn't uh, wasn't easy. But uh, I think in the end, it kind of came down to a bit of a, a gut reaction for, for, from all of us. So. Um, so, yeah. Excellent. Great. Um, so uh, the guys will give you a heads up when we're ready to go for the uh, for the, the best film. But um, it's incredible when you think about uh, it's it's incredible what we, when you think about the fact that I said to the other judges as well that this was like uh, done in forty eight hours in cold with no light. Mm. I mean, it's incredible. It's it's, yeah. it's so it's and so much hard work. And as everybody really got films out, you know, they're not. Um, 
you know, they're no easy feat, all of them. It's, there's no, you know, sl slice of filmmaking or, you know, small scripts. They're, everything is a big production um, and every single one of them really, you know, stands to the, stands to the fantastic filmmakers. Yeah, he, um, huge standard of, uh, of quality this year. Um, so I will let you uh, talk us through your choice. We have all the filmmakers ready to go on Zoom so you can let us know um, your choice for the best film. Perfect. So before we start, uh, before I sorry say the winner, we have a special mention. So um, it kind of came this between these two films, and there was, there was a bit of arguing, uh, but we came down to a special mention for uh, Random Acts of Kindness. So big congratulations to to the guys there um, on a really really fantastic funny film. Um, and then our winner is uh, a um, House of a Thousand Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Thank Thank you. Congratulations. Did not expect that. Yeah. Jamie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. works. You look quite surprised there. Okay. Oh, can you hear us? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, babe. <laughs> so congratulations. How are you feeling? Yeah, no mad, no mad, mad. That that is um thank you so I I, I don't know what I don't know what to say, honestly. I don't because the films we saw tonight um, were, were, were so good, where people put themselves to, to the actual end of their fucking, um, <laughs> their wills. Like, I can see by, like, Fika's face earlier. Like, he, like we've all just gone above and beyond. So um, it is absolutely an honor. Um, thank you so much. And I, I, so much. I just want to say that, yeah, I, I, I was a director in that uh, Jamie did all the effects uh, so he was just sitting at this computer. Oh, not all the effects. Uh, obviously, Stephen um, and Paddy worked really hard on this as well. But just Jamie was just plowing on for for days on end, and I was just sitting behind on the bed, just like giving critique. Well, no, he was. <laughs> yeah. He's selling himself short because, he, like, he forms how the scenes develop. So that's. But, but yeah, I just want to congratulate what you did. Yeah, okay, that's know, all. That's okay. all. Um, absolutely uh, stunned uh, 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 and. Um, yeah, because because the the work was so good this year like the the the, the um the tenor was so good this year that i watched every film and was like oh we won't win <laughs> do you know what i mean because every film i saw was like i love this oh i love this performance i love this editing i love this lighting i love this direction do you know every film that came up um throughout this night had something to love and to make me worry do you know <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's why, uh, yeah, that's a great evening. Thank you, Kenny. Well, congratulations, uh, Connor and Jamie. You did a great job. Thank you so much for being involved again. And uh, second year in a row, taking away best film. You're on a roll now. You have to go for the triple now. Well, we'll see. We'll see. You <laughs> set us up for failure. You <laughs> well, thank you so much again for taking part. We'll be in touch with you about the prize, but uh, well done. And uh, thank you so much. Fair play. Well done, Hoopers. Thank, thank you so much. You. And thank well you. Everyone else. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, excellent. So uh, I want to say thank you to all the teams that took part. Um, there's so many great films made by everyone. Um, so uh, let me just see, get all the, 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 the teams here so I can thank everyone. Um, the standard was so high, wasn't uh, it? Yeah, very much so. Um, it was crazy. Uh, like, I'm glad that I wasn't involved in the decision process for, for the, yeah. the, the, the films because it was genuinely so high. Totally, yeah. Uh, let's see. So uh, we have the Last Minute Kings. Uh, what are you at films, People's Republic of Cinema, Celtic Badger Media, Farm Studios, Little Notions, The Power Rangers, Film Friends, every one of them went above and beyond and they really put out great films and uh, the Fortnite Challenge wouldn't be anything without uh, filmmakers going to all the effort, going out into the cold, uh, getting their teams together and putting in all the effort. Um, so thank you so much to everyone um, for uh, not just tonight but throughout the whole year for helping the little cinema to make stuff for us but especially for this weekend it was incredibly difficult and such hard circumstances so thank you all very much congrats to all the, the awards winners um, uh, do, do, is there any comments you want to read out is there a my few my phone is just tied your phone just, just died okay. literally just tied yeah. uh, well I, I, I don't think that I have Facebook open here I, I'm, uh, I'm on another thing so um, congrats to everyone who won congrats to everyone who made a film as uh, Ray's going to give Matthew his phone um, in this, uh, I think the the main goal is to have fun and then make a film and to be a team. 
and uh, or raise shy, raise camera shy. <laughs> um, and uh, I think what everyone did was amazing. And thank you all so much for taking part in it and for uh, making the films. I think we have some comments here from uh, Matthew's going to be read out from Ray's phone. Do you want to join us, Ray? Do you want to sit in here? Spare seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so there's a lot, a lots of comments. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up and uh, let's see. Yes, uh, last minute kings, congrats, says Jamie Hooper. Excellent, well done, says Joseph Palmer. JVP, well done, last minute kings. Congrats, David, says Alan Duggan. Um, Philip Bond, well deserved. Pat uh, Patrick Kelly, congrats, David Killia. Um, and we scroll, there's, there's actually a lot of, of comments. Um, we, s we certainly hope we are all back again next year, says Alan Duggan. Um, Bar uh, congrats, Barry Fahey, says Alan Duggan. JVP, uh, congrats, uh, Barry Fahey. Uh, Jamie Hooper, gorgeous looking film. Sarah Barbosa, well deserved, Barry Fahey. Joe Mahon, um, fair play, Barry. Uh, congratulations, Barry Fahey. Dara O'Rourke, I'm going to scroll through because there's so many. Um, congrats, uh, People's Republic of Cinema, says Alan Duggan. Um, everyone did amazing, said Sarah Barbosa. Erin Gabras says, uh, Sarah, um, Sarah O'Byrne, congratulations guys, well done. Um, Wowzers, well done, congratulations both and all involved tonight. Um, that's Irish, I can't pronounce that unless you want to. Um, what is it? I can't read Irish, unfortunately. Where, where is it? Oh, uh, I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> Where's the, I don't see any Irish there. I think it might be gone. Anyways, I think uh, we probably have enough comments there. Oh, oh good night we live, Uli <laughs> August Goran Bakhiv from Daryl Rourke. Ah, okay. Um, thank you all, everyone who is viewing, everyone who took part in making films, everyone who's involved in this. Uh, Unbound Media, the guys inside, we got Adrian Conway, Ray Grady, uh, Finta Garrity, David Malley, uh, Matthew Blady. Um, we got Colin Film Center, um, Alan Duggan, Owen Butler Thornton. Um, uh, Jade Murphy and Stuart Dillon thank you all so much for everyone for making this happen and uh, one might see you in the new year or we'll see you for Christmas special next week which is on the Sunday the 20th so this day week so if you, if you only want to we might show some of these Christmas films at the Christmas special uh, but thank you all very much um, we're going to take a break now and have a soft drink to um, quench the thirst uh -huh. thank you all our judges I meant to say thank you all the judges um, fantastic judges Gower, Brian, Roshi, Nuhurisk, uh, Oshi McCullough and Eve Collins. Thank you so much for taking your time, taking time out of your schedules to help us with this. Uh, everyone who made film us, thank you so much and uh, thank you for supporting film in Galway and showing that Galway is a place where films get made and stuff gets done and there's people who will step up and do stuff. So thank you all very much and see you again soon and uh, that's it from the 48 hour challenge this year we're going to play out a montage of the best films or scenes from all the films from the last four years so take it away adrian thank you all very much and good night stay safe
make uh, discovery. And it's a revolution. Go away. Who's Charlie? And I feel the need, the need for speed. Why aren't you wearing one? Don't need one. Not when you know what I know. Running over the hill, but where is Kate Bush? We're going dry. John? Bury that, you're burying all of us. We now know not to eat the baby. You don't need negative people like that in your life. Oh, you wash her mouth out. She's a lady. You have Stockholm Syndrome.